Well, that man stood there and said that he wanted his children judged by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. And all we do in America right now is talk about color. Every issue, every issue is about race, it's about color. Instead of us sitting down at the table like men and women of common sense and common justice and understanding that our enemies are looking with a greedy vigilance upon us as we tear ourselves apart eternally. They have been watching us for 50 years, preparing step by step by step by step for us to kill ourselves. And I may not be back here next year. And I'm sure everything I say to say is going to be misconstrued and misquoted and used against me in November. Fine, fine, because I stand for my father's legacy. I stand for the men and women who acted like they had some sense and some courage and changed this country by being men and women who stood for something. If we don't start standing for something, don't you know that the people who are looking at what's happening in Washington, in Detroit, in Portland, in Seattle, they're getting emboldened because we act like a bunch of punks too frightened to stand up and protect our own stuff. You tell me that somebody got the right to tear down property that Tennessee taxpayers paid for? That American taxpayers paid for? And somebody has the right to destroy it, deface it, and tear it down? What kind of people have we become? That we can't protect our own stuff. Peaceful protest ends peacefully. Anarchy ends in chaos. And what we see happening right now, any of us with any common sense, any common sense whatsoever, know that what we see is not peaceful. So we can continue to fool ourselves and mix with words and use rhetoric and public relations in order to frost this stuff over and put a nice picture on what we see that is frightening Frightening? I have a nephew who is a policeman who talked about getting attacked the other night. You're telling me that somebody has the right to throw feces and urine in the face of those that we as taxpayers pay to protect us and that's okay? What has happened to us? If we don't get this right right now, I've got grandchildren I don't want to see the country we're going to have 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now if we don't start acting like we got some guts. Write down, brethren, sister, friends, colleagues, right now.